um, if you want, but it's going to show up in all games, which you can if you want, uh, and that's just setting all the vehicles to zero and then for the red team and one for the blue team. Now we're going to do our oddball spawn, and the oddball spawn is a little bit different. I'm going to right click and make a, another flag, but we're going to change it to oddball. Okay. So here's our oddball spawn, and this is going to be oddball spawn zero. Make another. This is going to be oddball ball, oddball spawn one. Make another. This is going to be oddball spawn two. And one more for me. Three. And you can spawn up to four oddball, uh, 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 up to five oddballs. Keep in mind, we started at zero, so you only can have four, uh, the number team index of four oddballs. Okay? Don't do five. Uh, don't do five team index oddballs, because that's actually six oddballs. Okay. So next, we have our racetrack. Okay. So I'm going to right click, and I'm going to change this to racetrack, and change. The team index is zero. The good thing about racetrack, you can have as many team indexes as you want, within reason. Maybe 20, 30 is a lot. So zero, uh, change that to one. Right click again. I'm going to change that to two. Right click again. I'm going to change that to three. Right click again. I'm going to change that to four. And one more time, I'm going to change that to five. Oops, five. Okay, now uh, next thing is our our king of the hill. So right click. I'm gonna make it right in the middle. Oops. Wait, hold on. Delete that. Gonna right click here and gonna go to king of the hill and change the ID to zero. Now for king of the hill, you actually make like a little like a little O, like on the ground. And I'll just uh, demonstrate to show you. So all these are going to have the ID of zero. Zero, 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 and so on. And don't take after me of me creating a nice O. Because mine looks like an oval. So that's all zero. And then for Crazy King, when the, the place moves around, uh, create another, change it to one and go zero zero or one 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 so one 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 okay try to make them the same size so that's for crazy king so now you have your king of the hill spawns and for teleport to to teleport from uh, the it's pretty simple you just create a team index of two of zero and then from of zero and that's two to from so so you name you name both the two and the from the two and the from are both zero for your first teleporter and then for your second teleporter it's gonna be one from two and then one one teleport to and one teleport from and that's the team indexing so two zeros and two ones those are the ones are together and the twos are together or the ones are together and the zeros are together okay now one thing you can do is you can if you want go to decals and add your own decals but the thing is if you just add them in 3ds max you can make them as big as you want which is a little bit nicer. So that's why I added my decal in 3ds Max. You can make it as big as you want, but if you just want the de default size, you can just do it uh, in a in 3ds Max. And also, if you like to do a blood splat in 3ds Max, it's gonna look the same, but then you can't curve it and stuff. But anyways, that's how you do it. So. It's better off to do some if you want to, you know, decals are, are just okay in different places. Okay, so now that we got our net game stuff all set up and that's all ready, we got our weapons, our scenery, our vehicles, our weapons, 
everything's done so we're gonna go to save scenario and as long as it says save scenario just fine then we're okay so then I'm gonna close that bring up my command and I'm gonna type in tool level uh, build ca build cache file levels forward slash bliss space bliss that should oops there we go tool space build cache file space levels forward slash bliss forward slash bliss bliss and it'll build and as long as it looks okay then it should be ready then you can just go to hill custom edition and click on your map and play and then you can enjoy it. So, this has been our command tutorial. You can subscribe to my videos if you think these tutorials help you. Every subscription helps. You can also check out my website at www.archimand.com. I'm actually, uh, by the time you hear this video tutorial, a new website will probably be up. It's done by Joomla, and there will actually be an RC chat, which I will try to be on when I'm on my computer and then you can ask me quickly there which uh, would probably save you and both me some time for questions so this has been our command tutorial thanks for watching